What's up guys? <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to this channel. Finally, I'm starting to build a consistent seat to this channel and I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it and that's where I should be all the time. Now, this video is going to be about wholesome, whole being, a whole being, meaning, I don't know what it means, but I can define it. <laughs> so, a whole being, I think the reason why I wanted to talk about that is because it is important for me to live my whole self. Now, I need to remember every day to center myself to me. I need to remember to motivate myself, to encourage myself, to love myself. I'm just gonna snip it on why this topic has arised. I'm 24 years old. I graduated high school. I went to college for three years. Um, so I've dealt with a lot of, you know, things that happened in my life. I had a lot of growing up to do. And I've struggled with my identity, with my, you know, self-talk. And it's, and it's been such a, such a mountain to climb on because I, I struggled with, you know, my self-esteem and trusting in myself. I didn't trust myself for a long time. But now, at 24 years old, I'm starting to understand that I need to trust in myself. I need to believe in myself. I've always thought that, you know, the word believe in yourself was very, it was, 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 uh, was a very selfish thing to say. But it's not, you know? And I think this video will be such a milestone in my timeline to keep going keep going be consistent and i'm taking care of my body i'm exercising everything is aligning in my life right now because i am trusting in myself because i'm loving myself and i'm taking care of myself and i encourage everyone to do the same do what makes you happy do what makes your life more valuable what do you like to do so that's what i've been doing wholesome whole being being your whole self even you know if you're having a if you're having a bad day right and there's just so many external factors that are affecting your inner being it's affecting your thoughts you need to speak against those thoughts with positive affirmations you need to tell yourself that you know what i messed up i'm gonna work on this or that person who was mean to me you know wasn't being mean to me personally he was just he or she is just going through something <laughs> and that has nothing to do with me and that's how you have to live every day you need to focus on yourself and that's what life is for now that's my perception of life is I'm not saying I'm, you know, very focused on myself. Self-care is important. And for so long, I've, I've, you know, lived half of my personality, if that makes sense. I've, I've struggled with my personality for so long. And I've, you know, in elementary school, I was bullied. And in high school, I was basically, I think because I was bullied, I kind of stayed in the shadows of high school and I, I was in and out. Um, and I just, I wasn't in the spotlight. I didn't, I definitely avoided the spotlight. Um, but now it's, it's like, nobody cares. Like, it, I'm just gonna do me and be respectful, be respectful to everyone else, and love everyone else, but love myself. Cause if I don't love myself, I'm gonna die at, I'm gonna, I'm basically dead. I'm not even gonna die like at 84, not loving myself, but it's, I'm not really living. So being my whole self and, and 
in setting goals to reach my to reach my um, to reach my full potential is my goal as of right now. And whether my mom, my parent, my dad, my siblings, friends, you know, mentors, idols, my idols that I have, whether they accept me or not is not my problem. I'm not gonna be living a life that they view as, as, I'm not gonna live my life, okay, I actually forgot where I was going. <laughs> but um, basically, you know, Everyone's gonna die, so I'm, I do not want to live my life n not living to my full potential, not striving for my full potential. Life is about learning, so at I'm 24 now, at 30, I want to be where I want to be, and if that is not where I should be, I will know that, you know? I value this video i value this topic and i wanted to talk about wholesome i wanted to talk about that word wholesome being whole you know it's such an important thing like being 100 percent that's my motto 100 percent i want to be 100 percent i want to be 100 percent truthful i want to be 100 percent dope i'll be i want to be 100 percent um calm i mean i want to be 100 percent wealthy one day and it's gonna happen because i'm gonna set goals i'm gonna be consistent i'm gonna be committed to myself and committed to my goals committed to my future and whether people accept that or not is not my problem I'm, there's no apologizing there's something inside of me that wants to apologize but I'm not going to apologize because what am I apologizing for? So wholesome self-care is everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I just have to remember to put myself first and believe in myself because that's the driving force behind confidence. That's the driving force behind love. You know, self-discipline is self-love. Self-discipline is self-love. If you love yourself, you will discipline yourself. And that's my goal. And that's something that I'm practicing every day. I'm learning to practice. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I've reached, you know, a, a point in my life where everything is clear. No, there's still struggles. There's still, you know, a lot of growing to do. I just want to put this out there. I'm manifesting it into the air, into the universe, and that's what I wanna be doing right now. I can look back at this video, and for all of you guys who are watching, <laughs> I have three subscribers. But one day I'm gonna have more, so I need to speak that into existence. And I, I'm starting to believe in manifestation. I'm not really into the whole chakra and, you know, I, I, I'm not there yet, nor, nor do I want to get there, but um, I do think and I do believe that when you speak things to existence, you add value to it. So I'm going to speak positive values. I'm going to, I want to add value to my life. I want to, all the negative thoughts that are in my head, I want to turn those things into positive things. You know, I was listening to a podcast one day and his name is Rob Dial. And he has been such a, you know, a, a, an extreme helpful mentor in just my life. And he said, you know, every day, you know, 60 to 90 percent of the time or 60 to 90 percent of the thoughts that we have as you know human beings are negative that's insane 60 to 90 percent of thoughts that we have every day are negative can you imagine if we replace that with positive so that's my video for today and i hope that this encourages you this encourages me this encourages anyone who's watching this to put themselves first to take care of your body take care of your mind and your heart your soul 
and to always, always, always talk to yourself positively. Tell yourself that you're kind, you're loving, tell yourself that you're strong, that you're resilient, you know, set goals, accomplish those goals, be consistent, put yourself first. You need to take care of yourself first before you can take care of anybody else. I can't wait to look back at this video in 10 years from now and be like, wow, I was on a right path. Look what I've done. Look, this is amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm not going to be one of those who say like and subscribe. If you like this video, subscribe. If you do not like this video, subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.